Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Morning Prayer on Saturday, the 17th of October. Today, we think about Etheldreda. We're going to be using the Book of Common Prayer with the traditional words this morning. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouths shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth, and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship, and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. One of the Psalms that has been appointed for today is Psalm 86. Bow down thine ear, O Lord, and hear me, for I am poor and in misery. Preserve thou my soul, for I am holy. My God, save thy servant that putteth his trust in thee. Be merciful unto me, O Lord, for I will call daily upon thee. Comfort the soul of thy servant, for unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. For thou, Lord, art good and gracious, and of great mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Give ear, Lord, unto my prayer, and ponder the voice of my humble desires. In the time of my trouble, I will call upon thee, for thou hearest me. Among the gods there is none like unto thee, O Lord. There is not one that can do as thou doest. All nations whom thou hast made shall come and worship thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name. For thou art great, and doth wondrous things. Thou art God alone. Teach me thy way, O Lord and I will walk in thy truth. O knit my heart unto thee, that I may fear thy name. I will thank thee, O Lord my God, with all my heart, and will praise thy name for evermore. For great is thy mercy toward me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the nethermost hell. O God, the proud are risen against me, and the congregations of naughty men have sought after my soul and have not set thee before their eyes. But thou, O Lord God, art full of compassion and mercy, long-suffering, plenteous in goodness and truth. O turn thee then unto me and have mercy upon me, Give thy strength unto thy servant, 
and help the son of thine handmaid. Show some token upon me for good, that they who hate me may see it and be ashamed. Because thou, O Lord, hast holpen me and comforted me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. For those of you who would like to read the Old Testament reading this morning, it is 2 Kings chapter 17, verses 1 to 23. But I'm going to continue now with the Te Deum. We praise thee, O God. We acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee cherubim and seraphim continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabbath. Heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. The noble army of martyrs praise thee. The holy church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee, the father of an infinite majesty, thine honourable, true and only son, also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst not abhor the virgin's womb. When thou hast overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people and bless thy inheritance. Govern them and lift them up for ever. Day by day we magnify thee and we worship thy name ever world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. And the New Testament reading for this morning is from Acts chapter 28, from verse 17 to the end of the chapter. And it came to pass that after three days, Paul called the chief of the Jews together. And when they were come together, he said unto them, Men and brethren, Though I have committed nothing against the people or customs of our fathers, yet was I delivered prisoner from Jerusalem into the hands of the Romans, who, when they had examined me, would have let me go, because there was no cause of death in me. But when the Jews spake against it, I was constrained to appeal unto Caesar, not that I had aught to accuse my nation of. For this cause, therefore, have I called you to see you and to speak with you, because that for the hope of Israel I am bound with this chain. And they said unto him, We neither received letters out of Judea concerning thee, neither any of the brethren that came showed or spake any harm of thee, 
but we desire to hear of thee what thou thinkest. For as concerning this sect, we know that everywhere it is spoken against. And when they had appointed him a day, there came many to him unto his lodging, to whom he expounded and testified the kingdom of God, persuading them concerning Jesus, both out of the law of Moses and out of the prophets, from morning till evening. And some believed the things which were spoken, and some believed not. And when they agreed not among themselves, they departed, after that Paul had spoken one word, well spake the Holy Ghost by Isaiah the prophet unto our fathers, saying, Go unto this people, and say, Hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and not perceive. For the heart of this people is waxed gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes have they closed, lest they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I should heal them. Be it known therefore unto you, that the salvation of God is sent unto the Gentiles, and that they will hear it. And when he had said these words, the Jews departed, and had great reasoning among themselves. And Paul dwelt two whole years in his own hired house, and received all that came in unto him, preaching the word of God, and teaching those things which concern the Lord Jesus Christ with all confidence, no man forbidding him. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he spake by the prophet of his as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies, and from the hands of those that hate us to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers and to remember his holy covenant, to perform the oath which he sware to our forefather Abraham that he would give us, that we, being delivered out of the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest. For thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people for the remission of their sins. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead and ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life 
everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. And do thy ministers with righteousness and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us, but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. Lord, we beseech thee, grant thy people grace to withstand the temptations of the world, the flesh and the devil, and with pure hearts and minds to follow thee, the only God, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom. Defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance to do always that is righteous in thy sight, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for all that you have made. For the beautiful world that surrounds us. Father, this morning we think of all the countries in the world as they struggle to get on top of this coronavirus. We ask that you would guide their leaders. And as scientists and biologists over the world work to discover and provide a vaccine against this virus, we ask that you would guide them, encourage them.
so that it will be soon that we can protect the people. And in the light of new measures that see some parts of our country in a greater lockdown, we ask that they will adhere to the guidance, to the new rules. Help us also to stick to the rules to prevent the spread of this virus. Father, we pray for all of those who are concerned at this time and anxious We pray for those who feel that they are stuck inside and isolated from members of their family and their friends. Especially those who don't have access to the internet. Father, we pray for all of those who are lonely at this time. Help us to be aware of them. Help us to share friendship with them. Maybe a phone call. Father, we pray for all of those who are sick. Those in hospital. And those at home. We pray for the doctors who care for them. And Father, we pray also for those who've recently been bereaved. Bring them comfort. Father, as we start this new day, this new weekend, we ask for ourselves that we would look to you in all that we do, that we would follow your guidance. Be with us this day. Father, we know that you always hear our prayers. And we thank you for listening this morning. Thank you, Father. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you for joining us this morning. I wish you a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend and we'll look forward to Seeing you back here again soon. God bless. Goodbye.
This year, Christmas is going to be celebrated rather differently, so we thought we'd try something different too. We're going to turn the whole of the chancel area into a large nativity scene for everyone to come and enjoy, and we'd like you to get involved too. We'd like you to make stars and angels which we can hang from the display. I'm just going to show a few simple examples to give you some ideas. These are just some very simple designs using card, paper, doilies, tinsel and stickers. But get creative. Come up with whatever designs you want. They need to be about A4 or less in size. Perhaps you prefer to make some model buildings. We'll find room for them on the display if you want to. Once you've made your items, please hold on to them until we let you know when and where to bring them. So whatever you decide to do, get creative, have fun.